the Republican candidate for president. Dr. Carson, good to see you again tonight. And so, Thank you. Let me first ask you that question, whether you think that was the right tone at the right moment uh, from the president and from Hillary Clinton. Uh, certainly not the tone that uh, I would have adopted. I think we have to start going to the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is not guns. The heart of the matter is the heart, the heart and soul of people. You know, this young man didn't wake up yesterday and suddenly turn into a maniac. Uh, clearly, there have been things in his background, in his upbringing, that led to the type of mentality that would allow him to do something like this. And one of the things that I think we really need to start concentrating on in this country is once again instilling the right kinds of values, particularly in our young people. You know, we're so busy giving away all of our values and principles for the sake of political correctness that we have people floating around out there with no solid foundation of mm -hmm. beliefs. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, we, we saw today so many people rush to the dark place. You know, one guy saying, this, this shooter watched too much Fox News. One, one person who used to work for the Obama administration ripping on Nikki Haley because she allowed the Confederate flag to stand in South Carolina, as if, as if there's any evidence that anything like that would, would lead somebody to commit mass murder. You came out with a piece talking for more tolerance, for more togetherness, for more understanding, and less hate. Absolutely. It's destroying our nation. You know, we have uh, a war on women, race wars, income wars, age wars, religious wars, anything you can imagine, we have a war on it, and we're giving people license to hate people who disagree with them, to try to destroy their lives, to even try to destroy them. This will have consequences in our society, and a house divided against itself cannot stand. It never has, and it never will stand. And we have to recognize that this is going to destroy us as a nation just as fast as any of the other factors, and there are multiple of them that threaten to do the same thing. You, you wrote uh, earlier, with external jihadist forces trying to destroy us, why would we aid them by engaging in self-destructive behaviors stimulated by hate? You know, yeah. it's a good point. We saw that after 9-11, we came together as a nation, and then we seemed to drift right back into the red, blue, divisive, diminishing places. Well, I, I hope we, the American people, can come to the understanding that we are not each other's enemies. The enemies are those who are stoking the flames of division, trying to divide us into every category and weakening us as a society. You don't have to be all that observant to see what's happening to us. We must wake up, people, and recognize who the real problems are. They are the purveyors of division and hatred within our society. Mm -hmm. And yet, you know, what do you think this says, what we saw today, about the status of race relations in America? The president seemed to strike a, a tone suggesting this is indicative of a darker period in our history, the, the exact sound bite. Actually, we have it. Here, listen. The fact that uh, this took place uh, in a black church uh, obviously also raises questions about a dark part of our history. Uh, this is not the first time that black churches have been attacked. Does it raise questions about the dark part of our history? You know, is it, is it a broader commentary, do you think, on society today? Well, I, I think it goes back to what I was saying before. Um, you know, we have succumbed to the purveyors of division in all of those different categories, including race. And it's going to be up to us, the people, to begin to focus on the positive things, on the things that we have in common, and stop listening to those who are stoking the fires of division. Have we made enormous progress in this country in, in race? Absolutely. When I was a kid, I, I mean, I remember all kinds of horrible things going on that don't occur now. But is the problem solved? Of course it isn't. But we need to work at it in a constructive way. As long as there are people with small minds, you're going to have these kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. But we cannot generalize and say, because this happened, you know, the whole place is going to pot. And let's be optimistic and let's look at the ways that we can solve these problems together. Dr. Carson, great to see you. Thank you for being with us on a night like this Thank especially. You,